Well, you can catch her every day here on News 6 at 4, 5, and 7 o'clock newscast. But she's also the co-host of one of my favorite podcasts, the Florida Fourth Estate Podcast. And she's on many News 6 platforms. But we'll argue you can't get enough of Ginger Cat's No, you can't. Mm -hmm. And we can also tell you she is one of the most thoughtful people that we work with. It's unbelievable. So we thought now is a good time for you to get to know Ginger a little better. Mm -hmm. New Six Morning Anchor and Insider Guy Crystal Moyer is here with some insider questions. I'm curious about I the questions wait. that people pose to Ginger. <laughs> I can't wait for this. There were quite a few. Our insider submitted dozens of questions for Ginger, and she answers everything from experiences throughout her career to her personal life. I had just moved to Indianapolis from Columbia, South Carolina, and as you know, there is a weather difference. And at the time, I was doing weather. I was a, a weather anchor. I'm not a meteorologist, though. And I moved there without having a coat. And you know what they like to do to uh, broadcasters when something extreme is outside. Go outside to where it is. So I had to do my broadcast outside. And I knew something was wrong when we were outside on the sidewalk of our station and the photographer was inside the door. It was so cold, and I'd never been that cold in my life. I didn't have on the right kind of shoes because I could feel the chill coming up. I'm looking at the photographer who's in the door, and he's doing, he's like touching his face. And I'm like, I, I'm trying to get a forecast out and remember what the forecast is. So we're done three minutes later. I go inside to warm up, and now I know why he was touching his face. It's because I had snot just <laughs> pouring. You see how embarrassing that is? That's pretty bad, right? That's awful. I didn't feel a thing. I was frozen. And I just, I'm like, that was on TV. And nobody told me. He tried to tell me, but I don't know what this is. I don't know what, do I need to powder up? So I am the seventh of 15 kids which makes me kind of a negotiator. Like I sometimes will bring the older siblings in with the younger ones and we rarely have disagreements, but I plan our summer vacations and I love doing that. There's a big age gap, right? When you have 15 kids. And so the younger ones don't want anything to do with the older ones, but I'm in the middle and I want everyone just to do everything <laughs> together. <laughs> I am six feet tall without shoes on, but um, when you see me walking around the halls at work, I always wear heels. I look like I should have played basketball. And quick sidebar story, uh, when I was in high school, I was this tall, I'm, you know, I'm a pretty tall person. And the coaches were like, oh my God, you're our center, just come to practice. And so I come to practice and I am so bad. Like, I don't understand the con, I don't know the fundamentals. I don't know. And it's so awful. It goes off the rails quickly. After that practice, the coach comes over and he goes, you don't have to come back. <laughs> and I, I'm glad because, you know, she's meant to be an anchor. So <laughs> that was just bits and pieces of the nearly 15 minute Insider Ask Q&A. You can find the full video on clickorlando.com slash insider. While you're there, you can also check out New 6 anchor Matt Austin's Insider Ask video. It's all part of our free New 6 Insider program, giving you access to behind-the-scenes content, exclusive stories, and contests. Were they comparing him to Matt Damon? I don't know. Matt, oh, my God. I haven't, well, I haven't <laughs> watched that there. one either. Ooh, that's a good insider. I mean, but Ginger is such, I mean, the sweetest person you've ever met, that she's just one of these people who just always remembers birthdays, mm -hmm. always remembers the special days and the not-so-special days, mm -hmm. and always makes you feel so special yeah, every she's, time you walk she's in. She's definitely, like, one of the most compassionate people yeah. I've ever worked with, and she's a great storyteller. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> and you, yes. you know you're always going to laugh. You know, <laughs> even if we cry, we still, we're still going to find a way to laugh when yes. we're with Ginger. Yeah, she gets really emotional. You know, she I does. watched the entire video, and she got super emotional talking about her career and why she does what she does mm -hmm. and how she puts value in people and not things. So, you know, we showed a lot of the fun stuff now, but you can definitely check out the rest of the video on clickorlando.com slash insider. So awesome. I'm, I'm thinking that, that first new, that first broadcast out in the cold, she doesn't have it on, on YouTube. That's <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, whenever you have a photographer, they're trying to, you know, give you those cues. Oh, we usually don't get them. Oh my gosh. So like if a hair's sticking up or something, Even we with just... Even snot on her face, I bet she looked like a million bucks. I'm sure anyway. she did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Crystal.